subscribe to tech to tricks and click the bell icon to get notified on the latest tech videos want to enjoy the audio on your pc some more don't you worry in this video let us learn how we can install the dolby atmos on our pc hey guys this is hemant raj and you are watching tech to tricks so without any further ado let's get started So guys getting started first go to the link in the description. In case you are new to the YouTube and don't know where is the description box then this is for you. Scroll down to the learning video and you will find a description box. Click on the show more and you will find the links attached of the software or the game. So make sure that you check out this and download it. So once you click on the first link you will be redirected to this website that's IO beta installer. Simply click on the free download to download it. But I have already downloaded this one before. So let me check out that. So where's the iobit? So here you go. The iobit uninstaller. Double click on it to open it and run the setup. Click on the custom install and select your destination. Now click on run. Meanwhile this process completes, go to the second link, that is the Dolby or Tech. Right here simply click on the download button up there and your download will begin. This download may take a bit of time depending upon your download speed. So click on no thanks. Here you go, the iOrbit uninstaller is now ready. So scroll down and scan for any sound drivers. Here I have the real tech high definition audio driver. Simply uninstall it. So click on the S. So don't you worry, if this driver software couldn't install properly onto your device, then I'll be telling a software that won't help you out at the end of this video. So make sure to watch the video until the end. Here I have the Realtek card reader driver, simply uninstall that too. So this may take a long time. Once completed, simply close this up and let us extract this Dolby zip file. So let us extract this to the desktop and click on the OK. Here we have some readme text file. So here's about how we can install. Thanks to Octech for their files. So the first thing is to uninstall the Realtek HD audio drivers or the NVIDIA or the ATI HD drivers. I have done that. The next thing we are gonna do is disable the driver signature enforcement. So if you are using a Windows 8 or 8.1 or 10 this is a must. So to get started with that simply go to the search bar and in the search bar type in advanced startup. So click on it and right here you can see the advanced startup option. Click on the restart now. So once you are here click on troubleshoot and go to advanced options then go to startup settings and right here click on restart. Now your system must restart. So click on the 7 button that is disable the driver signal enforcement. Once it is done your Windows 10 will reboot. So once you are done with disabling the signature enforcement, now go to your search bar and type in this PC. So now right click on it and go to its properties. Once you are there you can see the system type. I am using a 64 bit. 
now once you are known with that you can come back and right here choose up between the driver setup i am using a 64 bit so double click on dolby pc driver 64 bit and install it click on the install I hope that this should work fine. Click on the S when prompted. Click on the install this driver software anyway. Once your setup is completed, click on the finish button. Now double click on the Dolby Home Theater and click on the next. Click on the same destination and install it. So the installation may take some time, make sure you don't abort it. Once completed, click on the finish button and your Dolby Atmos is now ready. Now you can see the Dolby Atmos is completely installed. If you click on the speakers, you can see the Dolby Home Theater. Now right click and go to the playback devices. You can see that the Dolby Home Theater V4 is installed. You can also plug in it through the Intel HDMI port. I mean to say the HDMI port. So I am using a Intel naturally. So close this up and you can also enjoy its experience by simply right clicking on it and going to open Dolby Home Theater. So clicking on its settings. You can customize your own settings right here. So that's it for this video guys if you found this video helpful then drop a like and let me know any queries in the comment section. If you're new to our channel or haven't subscribed to our channel do subscribe to our channel this is Hemantrath signing off now and hope to see you guys in my next one.